Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to upload another very interesting and informative video tutorial related to simulation of perovskite solar cell on SCAF1D. In my today's lecture, lecture number four, I will show you how we can perform mod short key analysis for related electron transport layer on SCAF1D. Today, I will show you how we can perform MS analysis, what short key analysis in SCAF1D, what is its significance and what are the parameters that can control its performance and how we can uh, judge its performance with respect to some certain parameters. So it is very uh, interesting and informative video tutorial for all those people who are trying to check the effect of uh, voltage on capacitance, particularly simulation of perovskite solar cells on SCAF1D. So today I'm going to explain about mod short key analysis and I will explain what are main parametric values that can increase or decrease uh, the relationship of capacitance and voltage. Today I will show you how we can set parameters on SCAF1D in order to compute mod short key analysis. So first of all, I need to explain uh, what is basically mod short key analysis or simply MS analysis and what purpose basically it is used for perovskite or simple solar cells. So basically mod short key uh, analysis is a very effective instrument technique that is being used to access the built in potential difference between function of electrode operation and doping level of device. It means that in this analysis, we normally tend to check what doping concentration of electron transport layer can put on built-in potential difference of uh, potential difference of electrode. Simply in this analysis, we will check by variation of uh, doping concentration of electron transport layer, what can be impact on our device potential difference, what can be the impact of variation of doping concentration on device capacitance, and what is the basic relationship between uh, potential difference or bias voltage with respect to capacitance. In this analysis, basically, there are two things. First thing is what uh, CV analysis. It is very important analysis, and a lot of people need to know about that, how CV analysis need to be computed. And second is about mod short key analysis. Basically, uh, the mod short key analysis or MC MS analysis is being used for PN junction, but uh, it can also use for analysis of organic devices. So before start of my today's lecture, I would like to share my screen so that I can show you how we can perform mod short key analysis in scaffold. Okay, uh, so my screen has been displayed to everyone. Now I'm going towards the uh, start of my today's analysis that is about mod short key analysis. And before the start of this analysis, one person need to do what? One person need to click this button as a marked. Before simulation, all these buttons are basically unmarked. We need to mark IV characteristic curve and second one capacitance and voltage action button as mark, and then we need to click on quantum efficiency or inverted power conversion efficiency. If someone in, is interested in doing mod short key analysis uh, or MS analysis, he should uh, mark this button as a capacitance voltage button as a marked, enabled. So now we have just selected CV analysis as, um, as, as a function in order to get its performance analysis, in order to get a comparison of capacitance and voltage. So I have just explained that by clicking over here, capacitance and voltage, we can perform two kinds of analysis. First is basically uh, the relationship of uh, uh, voltage with respect to capacitance, that is CV analysis. And second thing is basically the mod shock 
mod short key analysis both analysis are very important in writing research paper in writing research report and other thesis as well and student and other researchers must need to know about the effect of the bias voltage on capacitance and how and what parameters can control the value of uh, um, of, of generated voltage and uh, capacitance respectively so i am going to explain that uh, that that how we can check its analysis of capacitance and voltage uh, in short mod short key analysis in scaf 1d uh, before the start of uh, uh, my complete analysis i need to uh, once again uh, recall that uh, this analysis is basically based on the variation of the value of uh, doping concentration of etl electron transport layer whatever you are using material like titanium dioxide indium sulfide and other parameters whenever you are going to start uh, your uh, analysis cv analysis you need to do what you need to change the value of doping concentration doping concentration of your etl material and with the variation of doping concentration or donor density of etl material we can easily determine uh, the cv analysis and the mod short key analysis there are two analysis once again i am repeating cv analysis and mod short key analysis and you can vary the value of your doping concentration of etl in scaps 1d for particularly for perovskite solar cell simulation or simple solar cell simulation and you can check the effect of more and more uh, donor density and by variation of uh, some certain particular range from lower range to higher range what impact a doping concentration of etl can put on mod short key analysis or simple cp analysis so i am going to start my analysis i am going to set my value a little bit lower like you can see that i am going to set my value 1 raised to the power 14 it means that doping concentration of my etl material is basically 1 raised to the power 14 now i am going to start my analysis i have already marked cv curve uh, function as action so that i am interested in getting curve between voltage and capacitance and i can conclude that what doping concentration can affect on voltage of my device and what doping concentration can if put effect on capacitance and then i can relate that what is the basic function between generated voltage or potential difference of my perovskite device and the capacitance so i am going to start my simulation by simple clicking accept okay okay Okay, now I'm going to start my first mod short key analysis on the variation of doping concentration of my ETL layer or material with the range of one raised to the power 14. And then I can show you what graph is basically this capacitance and voltage, a CV analysis graph. And next I can show you what is basically mod short key analysis curve. Basically, both these curves are inverse to each other. Uh, we can see that there is not so much difference between both analysis uh, but simply if we have cv curve and if we try to reverse cv curve it will provide us a more short key uh, graphical representation that will be once again uh, the relationship between bias voltage or generated voltage and the capacitance now my simulation has been computed now i am going to check the graphical representation i am going to check the more short key analysis so i need to click over cv because i am interested in cv analysis if we know that current and capacitance um, uh, if we know that voltage and capacitance relationship we can easily understand the mod short key analysis so i am going to click over cv okay okay there are basically the two curves on my left side left side you can see that here is one curve and here is second curve the first curve this first curve is basically what it is a basic relationship of generated voltage a potential difference of my device with respect to capacitance and this one curve is basically basically cv analysis capacitance and voltage analysis voltage is basically the potential difference that has been generated uh, due to difference function of electrodes of our device uh, with the variation of the doping concentration of etl material so the first curve is basically the graphical representation and relationship and an analysis between voltage and capacitance over here you can see on y axis basically what is capacitance 
So first curve is basically the CV analysis for particularly my today's paraviscal device. And now coming towards the second graphical representation, this re graphical representation is basically inverse of my first graphical representation. So I have just explained that the analysis, CV analysis, and the mod short key analysis are interrelatable to each other. So if you can see that it is basically exponentially decreasing and it is basically exponentially increasing. The, this curve is basically a uh, mod short key uh, analysis curve and it is once again between what voltage and one hour capacitance. So it is basically a reverse of my first graphical representation. Now I am going to explain important thing. When you are going to simulate CV curve, you will always have some like uh, CV analysis and more short key analysis. And both analysis are very important in order to get some performance analysis in order to get some particular and better results for our paraviscite device on scaps 1D simulation. So what actually these graphical representation provides us information? It is now very important thing. I need to explain that. I need to explain the reason. What actually curve explains why we are doing this analysis? What are the important parameter we need to detect from it? What are the conclusions? It both the curves, both the curve, first one curve, it actually uh, represents what if we have more potential difference, if our device, a uh, paraviscite device is uh, generating more potential difference, more voltage, the capacitance of my device will be large. It means that by uh, some way, somehow, if our device potential difference, device voltage uh, is increasing, the capacitance will tend to increase. In my case, you can see my fixed bias voltage is basically 0.8 and my capacitance value is about 77.00. It means it is a variation of voltage with respect to capacitance and it is being controlled by what value? The doping concentration of ETL. It is very important to note that mod short key analysis is basically dependent upon the doping concentration. I will explain that what actually happens when we add more dopants to ETL and why our voltage tend to increase and why our capacitance tend to increase. So it means that there is a direct relationship of generated potential difference voltage with respect to capacitance of my particular paraviscite device on simulation of scaps one day. Now I'm going to explain the second one. Second curve is basically similarly mirage image of first curve, just inverse of first curve. So that's why this analysis is more shockly and first analysis is basically, um, uh, basically the capacitance voltage analysis. Both analysis provide the same information. If we have more potential voltage generated by, uh, <clears throat> by electrodes of our, our paraviscite device, our capacitance will tend to increase. And both voltage and capacitance are basically dependent upon what value on value of doping concentration. I'm now going to change my doping concentration a little bit higher. <clears throat> then I can add more positive results to my 2 d simulation work. Now I'm going to set my value a little bit higher than that of, now I'm going to set my value uh, like 17 a little bit higher, more doping, more doping concentration is being added to my ETL layer. Now I'm going to accept, I'm going to start my simulation. Okay. We need to wait while simulation is being carried out because it takes some time and uh, as compared to IV characteristic curve, quantum efficiency curve and CV analysis and CF analysis, CV analysis are normally more time taking, more delaying, but it is very important to understand the relationship of capacitance generated voltage and capacitance and on what parameters they are basically dependent. I just explained that it is more dependent upon the doping concentration of what doping concentration of ETL layer. If our doping concentration of ETL will be large, we will have better generated bias voltage and we will have more capacitance. Okay, my simulation is being carried out and computed on the value of one raised power 17. Okay, I'm going to once again across my CV analysis. Okay, now you can see that my first curve, my first curve is a little bit higher as compared to second one. And now if I try to check the red curve, red curve, my generated voltage is a little bit higher than that of 0.8 volt. It means what? 
as I have increased my doping concentration, my doping concentration of ETL from one raised power 14 to 17, it means that I have added more dopants to my periviscite ETL layer and it has provided me large voltage and we have already seen that if the voltage will be large, the capacitance will tend to increase. There is a direct relationship between generated voltage, bias voltage, with respect to capacitance of my periviscite device that is being simulated on scav 1D. So it means that doping concentration, if the higher the doping concentration, the higher will be the bias voltage and the higher will be the capacitance. And same phenomena can be seen for the mod short K analysis. It means that we are directly controlling our bias and generated voltage and capacitance with the variation of the doping concentration. So now I'm going to add some conclusion remarks, concluding remarks that are very important. Uh, we have seen in today's analysis that uh, capacitance can be increased with respect to generated bias voltage and it tend to increase it gradually as long as we tend to increase the doping concentration of ETL or NDU value. Basically what happens, although we have seen that our bias voltage or generated voltage is limited from 0.8 to 0.8 something, but still we are getting some better uh, values for conductance and better values for more short K analysis. And uh, now I'm going to explain the reason, actually what happens a lot of people don't know what is the real reason behind by variation of more doping concentration, why voltage and capacitance are tend to increasing, why there is a direct relationship if our voltage tend to increase, why capacitance tend to increases as well. So basically when we tend to increase the doping concentration of ETL from lower concentration to higher concentration, actually what happens, the physics and the theory behind is that when we tend to increase the doping concentration of ETL, charge accumulation increases at the interface and capacitance will tend to increase. It means what? When we tend to increase the doping concentration on ETL, what actually happens? It increases the accumulation of charge at interface layer and it also increases the generated capacitance. So more the charge, more the capacitance and greater will be the bias voltage. So in short, in today's analysis, we have seen that how we can check our performance of periviscite device on scav one d simulation and how we can relate more, um, more short key analysis uh, with respect to doping concentration. What is the basic relationship of generated bias voltage with respect to capacitance and what parameter of our periviscite device can control it? I hope this lecture is very interesting and informative for those persons who are trying to get analysis, CV analysis or more short key analysis or particularly periviscite device or solar device on scaps only. And if you have still some question, I can uh, strongly recommend you that you can comment on my video. I will try my level best to reply to you. And uh, I hope uh, it will find a good and informative thing for particularly those persons who are trying to simulate a CV analysis, more short K analysis in scap 1D. Thank you very much for listening to me and supporting me. Take care, stay blessed, Allah Hafiz.